This video is to show you how to position a rear cover correctly. First take your strip of terminals and line this edge of the carrier strip up against the shoulder in the track where my finger is. You can slide it back and forth to make sure it's securely positioned there up against the shoulder. Next thing you want to do is the, the rear cover has a very thin edge on it. You want to position that thin edge between the insulation grip and the conductor grip. So I'll do that. <clears throat> and then you'll notice that the rear cover has two slots in it where two screws will go, and I'll position those two screws now. I'll screw those in. You don't want to secure the screws tightly to the cover at this point. So the cover should still be able to float. Okay. <clears throat> now you're going to position a finger and just push on the rear cover in the direction of the shoulder. All right. At the same time, you want to slide the terminal strip back and forth, making sure that that can still freely move. When you get a fairly snug position for the cover, just hold it with your thumb, and now you want to secure the two screws. Not tight, but just snug. And then we want to make sure that that rear cover is still tight against the terminal strip, but it still allows freedom of movement. One way to check is to jiggle the terminals on one end, and you shouldn't see them move over the tooling or over the anvils. When that is, when you have that movement and the security, then you can go ahead and retighten these screws or tighten them down more secure. Recheck that the terminals can slide, still slide, and that's the correct way to position the rear cover.